When mankind was created, he was given a soul. This soul gave him the clarity to perceive the world around him, and man prospered. But whatever created man also placed a soul-devouring demon upon the earth. It's almost as if whatever designed man did not believe in his creation. The old one, with its insatiable appetite for souls, lay in slumber, waiting. Completely naive, mankind learned how to unlock the potential of his soul, and the world was united owing to the soul arts. Not much history of this time remains, but we know that mankind prospered under a benevolent rule, perhaps by the old king, Duran. The people were happy. Time passed and mankind spread across the earth, but the divine creator decided that there was a price to pay for progress. A lust for power awakened the old one, and a colorless deep fog swept across the land, spreading through the cities of man. Out of the fog came terrible demons, hungering to devour and reclaim souls for the old one. Mankind looked to face a steady extinction, and soon over half the world had been erased by fog. But against all odds, a few humans managed to lull the old one back to its slumber. The fog retreated, but innumerable souls had been lost forever. This event came to be known as the First Scourge. In the aftermath of the First Scourge, the fabric of the world was unstable, so monumentals were appointed to the Nexus, a central point linked to six corners of the kingdom. These monumentals sacrificed themselves and became half-living sentinels of reality. With no immediate threat, peace was had for a time. The soul arts were banned so that mankind would never awaken the old one again. But mankind has a short memory, so he's destined to relive the past. One by one, the monumentals died, and they were not replaced. The kingdom of Boletaria rose again after the first scourge, this time without the knowledge of the soul arts, Behind this kingdom was King Alant XII, a magnanimous ruler who cared for his subjects and fought valiantly against the remaining vile and depraved demons of the First Scourge. In his old age, Alant became melancholy. The soul arts had been forgotten by most, but they still existed, and eventually Alant discovered the Nexus, and with a newfound thirst for power, he went there and learned the soul arts. But who taught him? Trapped within the Nexus, along with the Old One, is an immensely powerful demon. Her powers date back to the First Scourge, where she was able to suck out the soul of any creature, instantly killing them. A prisoner of the Nexus, her powers contained. The Candle Maiden tends to the lights of the Nexus, and to the souls that are bound there. We can't know for sure where Alant learnt of the Soul Arts, but when he left the Nexus, he left with the ability to suck souls from the living. With the revived knowledge of the soul arts, Boletaria experienced unprecedented prosperity, and just like before, the wheel of time began to turn again. King Alant wanted more. No longer satisfied with his power, he took the Black Blade Soulbrand, a blade designed for demonic souls. In a desperate bid for power, he once more ventured to the Nexus, and this time awoke the long-forgotten Old One from its slumber. And so began the Second Scourge. The fog has spread out once more, and the kingdom despairs. No one has heard from the king, and the demons have overrun Boletaria. As the fog spreads, the rest of the world hears rumors. Warriors from other lands speak of the enticing power of demon souls. The demons consume the souls of humans, enriching their own demon souls. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagining. The fog will eventually swallow the world, but no one who enters the fog returns. But you need to enter, for one of two reasons. Brave soul. Who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Has the land found its savior, or have the demons found a new slave?